Hello and welcome to the Madhouse everyone, Fridot here and today I want to show you guys a little bit of a different game of Guardians of Atlas. Now that the first tournament is over, you might wonder what are the best players that have been placed on the top spots in the first tournament ever doing with their time. So let's go ahead and introduce our teams. In the bottom left we have Toko on Celesta, Zinu on Grath and Bad Wolf on Ares against DQ on Ares, Brepost on Hydros and Jonar on Celesta in the top right corner of the map. Let's go ahead and start this game. Uh, this one is going to be a lot of fun and we're going to see what uh, some of the best players currently in Guardians of Atlas are doing with their time. We see Bad Wolf going for some Sand Stingers, uh, Zinu for the usual Terrapin Troopers, uh, no early Bramblethorn from him right now. Brepost uh, is trying to defend this position at the moment, Zinio is going to want to steal this camp, but uh, those Terrapin Troopers can't really hold on against Hydros and his Scuttle Guards. DQ on Ares is just going to form uh, this easy camp. Uh, while Brepost apparently is going to repel uh, Zinio's aggressive start. We can see some nice shots going there. Careful with that Terrapin Trooper, you don't want it to die. And Brepost at this point is still contested uh, for this creep. Let's see who is going to get it. Bad Wolf is coming in here with a little bit of a poke. And the last shot is going to be important. DQ, however, coming uh, from the top and DQ and uh, Brepost is going to secure uh, this creep, creep camp. Jonar, on the other hand, is going for Sabres, an interesting decision by him. Uh, checking out what Bad Wolf is doing, he is actually getting caught in here and DQ is going to take him out. Toko, on the other hand, is himself going for uh, some more Sabres. As we can see, he is going to do a nice split in here. Two of those Sabres are going to be clearing those critters in the top left corner. DQ with his Sand Stingers right now, only going to get tech to a little bit late uh, for the usual game and we see Brepost with uh, those Nautilusks uh, he is going to engage Zinu in here, Jornar is coming up to help uh, while they are contesting those critters I don't think that uh, Brepost and Jornar ever intended to go for that tower and as we can see at this point uh, Jornar is still going heavy on those sabers uh, only now going for a tech 2 in the top left corner of the map, Bad Wolf and Toko have secured this position while DQ is just going to clear this camp. Toko is getting a little bit aggressive with those sabers. DQ is coming here to defend and uh, Toko and Bad Wolf have to retreat in here. Uh, there is just a little bit uh, too much damage from DQ with those sand stingers and this tower. Uh, it is not going to fall just now. A little bit less than 30 seconds uh, before the first Titan DQ there is going to signal that in chat as well. Zinu going for Toxic Mystics right now. You don't usually see this unit in a usual game. And as we can see in here, those players are friendly with each other as usual. Jornar is going to pop his little ability there. And we see that both teams are preparing for this Titan which has just spawned. It is going to be interesting to see which uh, team is going to be able to secure this Titan. Uh, those Sabres can have that burst of speed which will enable them to get a nice surround and we see that Jornar uh, is trying to stay a little bit behind. Toko is doing the same, looking for a potential surround with those Sabres. Uh, for now the blue team is going to have superior damage. And with those Toxic Mystics, uh, they might just take this Titan down. We see a Shadow going down, uh, the blue team is focusing down the, the Titan and it is going to, want to win this fight. As we can see, th this engagement with those Sabres, uh, as I said before, you don't usually see this unit. It is going to be a battle of Sabres in the middle of the map. Uh, Jornar is coming out a little bit ahead while Toko uh, is uh, going to be surrounded and taken out by DQ there. However, from Bad Wolf, uh, we are going to see some Exophenes uh, get in the action. But careful with that shadow. Those Exophenes might just be bye-bye at this point. Uh, Brepost is going to get a nice surround. DQ is coming here as well. But those Exophenes with their burrow ability are able to survive. In the meantime, the, the Titan manages to destroy one tower. Uh, but Jornar is going to take him out before he can do any more damage. 
In the middle of the map, we see another engagement between Zinyu and the Breepost. Uh, the red team still has that shadow there. Let's check what our players are going to be building. Uh, Breepost not currently producing anything at this point. Chorn are going for more sabers as well as the upgrades and attack damage level 1. Toko, on the other hand, uh, is going to transition into Wisps at this point. Uh, he has had enough of those sabers, they aren't just working for him, and he's just going to go with the much cheaper uh, option, the Wisp. DQ is looking for an engagement here, and we see some sabers from Jonar as well. Uh, Bad Wolf is going to get a little bit low, but those Exophenes are still alive, and they might be able to do some damage. That one burrows just in time. Bad Wolf is low, and he has to go back. Unfortunately, he goes down. Uh, DQ goes in for the kill there. That Shadow is still alive, and at this point, manages to slow down Toko a little bit. Uh, while he is actually focusing that shadow down, uh, it is going to go down eventually, and the Toko is still here, going to defend this tower successfully. Jornar is still adding more sabers uh, to his army. While Brebos again is not currently producing anything, this is going to be the auto produce for him at this point. And we see that Zinyu uh, in the bottom right corner of the map is still going for those toxic uh, mystics. Bad Wolf now is going to add his third Exofiend. Uh, we see an Engineer and a Devilkin Dervish. Uh, they are on the way. Medium camps are about to spawn in about 5 seconds. And uh, as we see here, both teams are going to get ready. Toko wants to get hold of this one. DQ is coming in uh, very aggressively at this point with his army against Toko's Wisps. Those Wisps are able to do quite a little bit of damage, but DQ at this point just has the superior army composition. Breepost is going to engage uh, this medium camp, while uh, down here we see Jornar and Zinyu are having a little bit of a fight. Zinyu with his toxic mystics, he is not able to secure this camp. Uh, Breepost is going to kite down uh, the other medium camp all the way down here. Bad Wolf is going to try and deny it, but again he has to be careful. That shadow is still there and he goes down. DQ is going to get yet another mo another kill. This uh, Exophine is getting a little bit low, but it is going to be able to survive and heal in time. And uh, right now we have a little bit uh, of an advantage in terms of income for the red team. Even though they lost that first titan, it was only able to destroy one tower and they are going to win uh, those fights. Breepost and DQ right now are going for this medium camp. Uh, only now Breepost is actually uh, getting some upgrades. I believe he is still on that uh, auto builder. DQ going for some more sand, sand stingers and he only has two production slots and tech level 3 queued up but it is going to take quite a little bit of time for that tech 3 to get all the way in front there. Uh, Jornar is not going to give up uh, on those sabers. He wants to get in here and take this tower down. Uh, Zinyu is not currently decided what he wants to do. Uh, right now he is going to try and defend this tower uh, but those sabers uh, they are going to take it down and escape just in time. I believe three of them were lost uh, in that tower fight. DQ and Breepost are going to be in the middle of the map right now. Uh, they are going to prepare for the next Titan, while Breepost actually wants to get in there and take that tower down. But Toko with his army of Wisps, uh, it is looking quite threatening at this point. Those Wisps can do a lot of damage, but they are going to melt uh, to any AoE that uh, is going to come f for the red team there. And we see the next titan fight is here. Uh, Jornar is going to poke in there and see if he can get some wisp uh, kills. Uh, Bad Wolf is doing a pretty good job with his exophenes. Unfortunately, those Nautilus are quite dangerous for uh, his army. Uh, Toko is going to kite down those Nautilus with his wisps. Uh, it is going to be a good idea. A little bit of a counter there. Uh, wisps uh, are going to do uh, uh, some heavy shots. And not uh, necessarily heavy, uh, but just fast. And a lot of them, as you know, the armor plate from uh, the Nautilus is going to be able to ab absorb one shot, no matter the damage. And so the more shots that you can do, uh, even with those toxic mystics, uh, they are the perfect counter for uh, those Nautilus. We see that the red team has won this titan fight. Bad Wolf is going to be chased there. Uh, Zinio is trying to defend with his growth tenders and four mystics at this point. DQ is still around here uh, with his army, 
three Devilkins and uh, a couple of Sand Stingers. Only one Sand Stinger left. Bad Wolf goes down, uh, but he is doing a good job with those Exophenes, keeping them bottled. I saw one Devilkin die uh, during that engagement. Uh, the Titan is going to proceed uh, to attack this Warp Spire, and Brepost is actually going to be chased by Zinio all the way up here uh, with the, his uh, Toxic Mystics. Unfortunately, he's not able to get the kill on uh, Hydros. Jonah right now, uh, with his army of sabers, he is believing at this point Team Saber for Jornar, uh, getting more upgrades in here for, for those little lovely units as we can see right now. He's going to farm a little bit uh, with those critters at the moment, 2 minutes until hard camps are here, so he's going to have quite a little bit of time and we see him actually wants to go in here and uh, snipe that warp spire. He's going to be able to do that, Bad Wolf is going to get his first apocalypse at this point. Those sabers did their job, they're sprinting in and destroying that warp spire even though every single one of them ends up dead. Jornar, however, is still going to rebuild them. Uh, let's uh, check what Toko is doing. He is still going for those wisps. I see that he is going to add this wind ray up here. Brepost only now getting his first ancient ice frog. Two Akadillos are on the way. While Zinu is going to stick with uh, this army composition, we see three uh, grove tenders right here and uh, four toxic mystics. A fourth Grove Tender is going to join his army at this point. DQ is hanging around here. We see a nice heat wave from Bad Wolf going to zone him out there uh, while Jornar and his sabers are still lurking around. Uh, let's check what DQ is actually producing at this point. Nothing in production uh, for him. He is not supply blocked as we can see. So I believe that he is happy with... Uh, with his army composition, he does not need any more units. We see an engagement in the top left corner of the map. Uh, Brepost is trying to defend this siege from Zinu. And those Toxic Mystics are going to do some work on that Aquadillo, eventually taking him down. Jornar, however, is going to come around here with his sabers. Go, sabers, go. And with that sprint, he is going to be able to get a little bit of a surround on Zinio's army. Zinio is going to go down, and those sabers are still alive and doing some work. Nice surround there from Jornar. Uh, let's see how his army is going to be able to hold on here. Uh, he has uh, managed to eliminate quite a little bit of uh, Zinio's forces there. Two Grove Tenders and one Toxic Mystic are still alive. Toko, in the meantime, he did blow his uh, ultimate on those Sabers. Brepost is just going to eliminate that ward. He does not like the ward down there. It is going to see what he's doing and he is not happy with that. And we see some things going down. Toko might be looking uh, to snipe this Aquadillo. Hard camps have spawned now for 30 seconds. And it looks like Toko is going to engage... Uh, checking down here, no team is going to go for that hard camp just yet. Uh, those Toxin Mystics are still alive and uh, doing some work on those uh, uh, creeps up here. Uh, we see that one Iron Cannon is being built uh, by Bad Wolf here. It is going to be in range of this tower while the red team is just happy to take their uh, inside the base hard camp. This one is uh, still alive and both teams can potentially go for it, it might be a good idea from Bad Wolf to go for it, but uh oh, we see that those sabers from Jornar are still up and running, while he still has three ready to warp in, a lot more on the way, heavy upgrades as well. Brepost is going to engage this hard camp, uh, sabers are coming down to help, one Aquadillo and one Ancient Ice Frog as well. A DQ, uh, I believe that he has been uh, hit by one uh, Pokalite shot there, otherwise those units couldn't have gotten that low. And we see that the, the, the next Titan fight is here, and uh, it is uh, going to be interesting to see how our players compete in here, especially those sabers from Jonor. Uh, both teams are going to be a little bit late for this Titan fight, that is uh, because they have been fighting over uh, the bottom right uh, hard camp. DQ is going to attempt to get some uh, destructive prophecies going down. Uh, Jornar with his sabers is going to tackle uh, Toko and his wisps. Uh, careful with that apocalypse shot, DQ manages to dodge it in time. Titan health is uh, pretty much equal right now. And we see Zinio is uh, going to focus his uh, toxin mystics 
on this Titan. Uh, while DQ is going to blow his cooldown on uh, just Xenu's hero. Uh, Jornar and Toko are, st are still trading blows there, and we see an ultimate from Jornar there, and is not going to be able to hit anything. Uh, Celesta's ultimate can be incredibly destructive, uh, but it takes a long time to get it right there. Repost is uh, going to get uh, surrounded there. Uh, he manages to escape, but is going to lose one Aquadillo and he might just lose his hero as well. We see some nice destructive prophecies going from DQ there. Uh, Toko and his army of wisps is not looking that threatening at this point, and Xenio did indeed go down there. Jornar, however, is extremely low, and Bad Wolf almost gets that kill. He's on 1 HP right now, he has to go back and heal. DQ is still fighting over this titan, but he is uh, alone down here. Careful that Jonah, you don't want your hero to be taken out. Bripo somehow manages to rebuild his army. Two Aquadillos, one Quadrupus, and an Ancient Ice Frog are present at this point. Uh, and it is going to be a threatening army for Bad Wolf. We saw that destructive prophecy annihilate uh, those Wisps from uh, Toko. And this titan fight has been indeed won by the blue team. Uh, they are going back and forth at this point, but resources are heavily in favor of uh, the red team. Um, checking out income as well, and it is telling the same story, 700 bio shards in favor of the red team. This Titan is going to do some work on this warp spire, and I believe it is going to go down, and down it goes. Uh, going to start damaging this healing generator, but this one is going to survive. There is enough damage to take this Titan down. And as we can see, those medium camps have respawned at this point. Bripost goes immediately to tackle this one, while DQ is going to go down here uh, to take care of the other one. Bad Wolf is still around here. Unfortunately, he does not have uh, the proper army to deal with those uh, aerial units that uh, are still present in the bottom right corner of the map. Jonar is going to be sneaky with uh, his um, sabers again, going to take this tower out. Those sabers are doing some work on that tower. Uh, pretty nice DPS from them, and it is something that we have not seen, at least not officially, in the tournament. Uh, before bad uh, bad wolf is going to get his third apocalypse in here momentarily one ember fiend and one exo fiend are still present on the map repost is uh, going to get uh, one uh, quadrupus as well as deep freeze while dq his army is looking like uh, a late game army at this point he has what uh, he wants down here already uh, one more apocalypse to go and he is going to have uh, what is uh, preferred by uh, the red players uh, in terms of late game army. Jornar is still rocking those sabers. He is going to get tech level 4 right now for more upgrades. Those sabers are going to be even more destructive. Uh, this tower, however, is uh, taking its sweet time to go down, but they are actually managing to take it down. Jornar is going to back out of there before Xenio and Toko can catch him. Look at that speed from the savers, definitely the MVP of this match. Xenio is however going to chase them. Uh, he, it might be a good idea from him to t pick up those uh, bio shards uh, that were left from uh, destroying that tower. Looking at Toko at this point, he is going to queue up more wisps and uh, that attack damage upgrade as well. Uh, it is only level 3, um, Jornar is a little bit ahead with his sabers at this point uh, in comparison to uh, Toko's Wisp, but he is going to incorporate one Zephyr, two Precognitors and one Windray as well. And those Wisps are actually going to do some damage. Jornar is going to go in here, Toko blows his ultimate and that is a pretty good one there. Uh, careful, you don't want to take out this army. Uh, that was not Toko's ultimate. Unfortunately, the animation is pretty similar for those. That was the wind race ability. And we see a little bit of an engagement coming down. Uh, Bripos manages to get himself in a little bit of a surround down here. Uh, DQ is going to come uh, to help. And we see destructive prophecies going on both sides. Uh, that Celesta ultimate is going to eliminate the entirety of uh, DQ's army. And that was incredibly done by Toko there. A big mistake from DQ, losing his whole army there. Uh, but he does have the bio shards to rebuild at this point. 
Uh, Jornar is still going to go with his sabers. Uh, attack damage level 4 is going to be queued up. Bripo's actually chasing the blue team all the way down here. He's pretty confident at this point with his army. He wants to take this tower down and is going to succeed. Uh, engaging with those Aquadillos as well. We see some destructive prophecies going down. One Ice Rogue is going to down. Is going to go down. The second one is uh, following, and only those three Aquadillos are left. And one of them is in an awkward position, going to be killed by Zinyu. Bripos now is trying to escape with uh, his two Aquadillos. Another one is on the way, and the two Ice Frogs that he lost. Magic resistance level two, uh, level one is uh, almost completed by him as well. Titans have spawned, uh, Jonar did get physical resist level 4 up in that queue, and the blue team is actually ahead on uh, this titan. Uh, now on minute 20, uh, this titan is going to be quite buffed, and we see a destructive prophecy by DQ is going to hit that wind ray, uh, taking it down, and a few wisps as well. Bad Wolf is uh, trying to do the same thing on uh, DQ's army, actually managing to take down one Devilkin, but due to some upgrades, that Apocalypse is going to survive that um, destructive prophecy. Uh, Bad Wolf is uh, still running around in here. Zinni with his Toxic Mystics are uh, doing some work on this Titan already at half health, while the red team. Uh, is not managing to get enough damage on uh, this on this titan. We see Jonar all alone uh, in the left side of the map. More destructive prophecies are going to go down. One tower has been destroyed as well uh, from that iron cannon in the bottom. Bad Wolf is going to go down. Bripost with his two Aquadillos. He has to be careful not to lose those as well. Unfortunately, there is only Toko with uh, his Wisps at this point. One Apocalypse from... Um, a bad wolf is still around, and we saw a uh, failed ultimate from Celesta there, uh, not hitting anything at that point. Brepost and DQ are in a little bit of a bad spot uh, down here. Zinu is going to keep his uh, Toxin Mystic alive. Uh, Brepost does have the benefit of that tower, however. And Zinu and the DQ is still in here. Brepost goes down, Zinu takes the kill, but uh, careful with those sabers from Jornar, they are heavily upgraded and they are going to do some damage. Toko on Celesta uh, is actually taking quite a lot of damage at this point and he's going to go down. Those sabers are doing some work. Uh, right now they want to take out that Toxin Mystic. Uh, Bad Wolf is going to go there with one Destructive Prophecies, eliminating what is rest of those sabers. Zinyu going down as well, and uh, that Toxin Mystic is dead. And uh, we see that um, Bripost actually lost one Aquadillo in that engagement. The Titan fight, however, is still uh, going down. No team is able to get the upper hand in the middle of the map. More destructive prophecies are going to go down. That Ice Frog is extremely low and eventually is going to be killed. And we see that Jonar is still around here with his sabers, uh, going to try and uh, eliminate those sabers from uh, Toko at this point, and he is still going for those wisps. He tried with the sabers, but unfortunately it is going to be uh, Jonar's match with uh, the sabers. Toko has to stay on wisps. As we can see here, Bree Post is rebuilding one Ancient Ice Rock. He still has two Aquadillos up and running. Bad Wolf is going to be low and uh, might be taken down by those Sabres. One more shot uh, from DQ is still there and he might be able to get the final killing blow on Bad Wolf. Down he goes. DQ might soon follow and down he goes as well. Still, no team uh, is able to gain supremacy over the middle, so the Titan fight is still going down. Uh, let's see what Jonar wants to do at this point. Still rebuilding sabers. Physical resist level 4 is almost finished at this point. Bripos with one Aquadillo uh, is going to try and do some work in here. Another Aquadillo joins the fight and we see that he is going to engage Zinyu. Toko is doing some work with his wisps, eliminating uh, those sabers from Jonar. Uh, but those two Aquadillos are still running around. One of them goes down. And uh, the other might soon follow. Uh, Bripos has to be careful there. Uh, gets a nice heal on that Aquadillo. But it is uh, really low at this point. And those Wisps have a lot of damage. Uh, it looks like it might be able to get away. Uh, wisps are still following. And it is going to go down. 
uh, careful with those wisps he's going to lose i believe all of them but not before getting one devilkin for their efforts and checking for Deku, he is just uh, respawning with his hero uh, and is going to add two Apocalypse to his army. Jornar with more sabers at this point. And we see that he is actually going pretty low. Careful there, Brepost is going to heal his teammate. Nicely done by him there. He would have definitely gone down if that heal wouldn't have happened. And uh, Hydros is now going to escape at this point. Jornar is still low. Uh, he is going to go down. Sabers are still here. Uh, trying to do some work on those uh, toxin mystics, but DQ with uh, those destructive prophecies hits gold there and is going to eliminate a lot of units from the blue team. Uh, Bad Wolf has managed to rebuild his uh, exophenes and he does have one ember fiend as well. This titan fight is extremely important at this point. Toko with his ultimate uh, is not going to hit anything unfortunately for him. Uh, those wisps are going up against conduits and the conduits are actually going to come out on top even though they are a lot more e expensive than those sabers and this titan is getting pretty low right now uh, for the blue team they have to be careful not to lose this titan fight uh, checking for armies we see a little bit of a lead for uh, the red team uh, bad wolf is going to block his ultimate in a pretty bad spot there uh, we see some freeze going from that ancient ice frog uh, and uh, again DQ is pretty much looking to seal out this titan fight those conduits are going to push him out of position just for the moment and that one is going to be really low and down it goes uh, Brepos right now he is going to focus down this titan and uh, the red team is managing to win this extremely long titan fight one ice rock goes down for Brepos there but with this other one he might be able to get uh, some nice freeze going a DQ did lose one devilkin dervish from an apocalypse shot there Jonar with his uh, sabers is still going to chase Toko at this point and those sabers are again doing a lot of damage even if they are pretty squishy uh, but they managed to dish out the damage and that is extremely important especially against Toko's wisps. DQ is going to come down here this titan uh, eliminated the healing generator and is going to go straight for the archive at this point. Jonar with his wisps is still running around Brepost still has one ice frog that is just going to go down and one aquadillo. Uh, DQ is just going to focus uh, down this warp spire while Jornar, his sabers and the titan are trying to uh, destroy this archive and eventually seal the game. Jornar is going to blow his ultimate on the archive as well. The titan is really low however and uh, in fact the archive is going to go down at the last moment just before that titan dies. The red team is going to win this uh, little bit of a fun game. Uh, it has been just a game for fun to try and uh, play with some uncommon builds, uh, have a good laugh and just enjoy the game.